Alright, can I just not do this? Right. You're watching Saturday mornings with the CPC. There, I said it. Now scram! Telephone. Telephone. Telephone! It's for you. Uh... Hi. Excuse me? Whoops, sorry. I dialed the wrong Bye -bye. number. Check out my first patient. Now oh, let's see. Um, yeesh, what happened to you? Oh, you're too hot for cookies. Mm, cookie, yeesh. I've seen you before. You eat 700 of those things a day. Yeesh. Oh, you go get sick. Oh no! Hold on a second. How many times has he tossed his cookie? Ah, let me take charge of that. I am a professional. One. <coughs> One puke. Two. <coughs> Two pukes. Three. Three pukes. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, yes, I love to count things. But that's one of my, my newest things to count. I'm sorry, Mr. Monster, but you're gonna have to go on a diet. A diet? Yes. From now on, you can only eat vegetables. Okay. Yes, thank you. Do I call myself the Veggie Monster? No, I know you're not Veggie Monster. That's why we keep this just between. You and me, okay? Nobody else knows about this. Okay. Dr. Burt, don't tell anybody about Cookie Monster you've been eating vegetables. Oh, okay. Thanks, Ernie. I won't tell anybody. Um, Dr. Frog, Dr. Frog. Listen, don't tell anybody else this, but the Cookie Monster has been eating vegetables. Oh, Cookie Monster's been eating vegetables, okay? I won't tell everybody. Hey, did somebody say the Cookie Monster's been eating vegetables? <laughs> wow, hey guys, check it out. Cookie Monster's eating vegetables. Oh no. Bert, you weren't supposed to tell anybody about this. I only told Kermit. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I try not to tell anybody. Roosevelt Franklin has super ears, you know that? Yeah. That's why I always say, everybody talk loud. We all talk loud. Enough of that, Roosevelt. Listen, look on the bright side, Mr. Monster. At least not everybody knows about it. Extra, extra, cookie monster eating vegetables. I'm sorry you had to see that. I'm sorry you had to see that. I just, just that, br that brought back a lot of bad memories. Okay, I I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Um. 
Cookie Monster, you have to stick with your diet, though. I know. You have to eat three pieces of broccoli every day. I know. That way you won't vomit. I know. Okay, thank you. Get the serpent! Get the serpent! Ugh. I'm a puppet, not a wristband, okay? Sorry. Ugh. Okay, the only thing we can do now is take Cookie Monster's x-ray. Okay, let's look. What in the world is that? I, I wasn't showing that his x-ray. Hold on one second. What the heck is that? Oh, oh, sorry, I forgot we weren't supposed to show you. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay, uh, Cookie Monster? Yes. Um, I figured out it wasn't the cookies that made you sick. Um, apparently... I don't know how to tell you this, but, uh, you're made of polyester. Oh. Polyester! Yep. Well, that's all for today on Dr. Ernie. I'll see you later. When Cookie Monster's cured. What? Ladies and gentlemen, Sam the American Eagle. Thank you, thank you. Today, I am going to talk about an issue that has been going on for a very long time and needs to stop. This is, of course, Bathroom humor. Ugh, you people joke about what happens when you go to the bathroom and it is inappropriate and disgusting. And I am appalled by the fact that you people think that that is funny. Ugh. So this is for all of you Americans out there. I thought this was a Canadian. YouTube channel. Do you mind? Okay, to all of you Americans, Canadians, shut up! <clears throat> I suggest to be more mature and stop bathroom humor immediately. Thank you. But, oh, oh, excuse me, excuse me. Uh, <laughs> Once there was a boy named William, who loved to make his own puppets, and perform puppets every day. But one day, something crazy happened! Lightning hit him, and he became... The Puppet Man! He would go around and turn people into puppets! If they looked him right into the eye, they were sure to become a nice, cute, little puppet. And he did it to anybody! <laughs> Use this evil power to turn everyone in the neighborhood into his own little puppet slaves! Yes, and it was terrible. The Puppet Man had been having his fun for a long time, running around turning people into puppets when they looked him right in the eye. But not for long, because then he met... The Seam Ripper! <laughs> The Seam Ripper had a special tool, and he was able to turn Puppet Man himself into a puppet. And that's how it happened. Wait, why am I a girl? You look better that way.
Thank you.